Hello everyone. Welcome to Life with Trucker Art. Um, I have another video. This video is about drivers taking a 30 minute break in the fuel aisle. I see it every day when I um, get fuel. There's like a line of trucks in line to get fuel because drivers are taking that 30 minute break because they are too lazy to park their truck and um, take their break or fill up and pull up so the next driver or the next person can get fuel. You know, it's really annoying because I deal with it every day and I'm sure some of you drivers that drive trucks do too. And it's really annoying. It's not that hard to pull up after you get fuel. So to get fuel, then walk on this side and take another half an hour to eat, get your food, whatever, and using the bathroom or whatever you're doing, that's taking up more than 30 minutes in the fuel line. It's ridiculous. You know, it shouldn't take almost 45 minutes just to um, stop at a truck stop to get fuel. It shouldn't take that long. No. It don't take that long to fill these trucks up. These trucks can probably fill up um, within 10 minutes or so. So I don't really understand why it takes so long for drivers to um, get fuel because it's ridiculous. You know, um, it's really old. A lot of a lot of drivers complain about it, including myself. You know, I have seen people get into a fight or argument about staying too long at the pump. A lot of drivers are impatient, especially with this e-log that we have. You know, um, everybody trying to um, race the clock. Everybody trying to race the clock. So, I don't know. It's crazy. But I will say, um, you know, if you really can, you know, get your fuel, pull up, then run the side or whatever you got to do. You know, just have courtesy for the next driver that's behind you. Because we all trying to get somewhere at the end of the day. We all got somewhere to go. We all have a destination. So, you know. Just have a little courtesy, patience, and you know, just for the next driver. Um, and plus, that's a good way to um, to stretch your legs and get your exercise because we're in these trucks for eight hours at a time minimum for most of us. So you know, it is good to um, stretch, stretch your legs, stuff like that. As, as much as you can so your blood can circulate you know in your legs and stuff which is one of that so so like most time what I try to do is you know when I take my half an hour break I try to um, if I park at a truck stop what I would try to do is uh, park in the back so um, It'd be a little bit longer to walk inside the truck stop. So I can give me give me a chance to get my little workout on. When I'm um taking my half an hour break. So um that's definitely something I think we all should do. You know, if you take your half an hour break, park somewhere in the back. So that way. At least get some kind of exercise out here because people are having heart attack strokes, you know, dying in their truck because lack of exercise, obesity, you know, being overweight. I see a lot of truck drivers can barely get in and out their truck. And I see a lot of truck drivers with um, a big old thing of pop or soda in their hand. Walking back and forth to a truck, whatever, you know. 
I don't see nobody drinking water. None of that, you know. I've been out here 12 years. I think I maybe gained like 20 pounds within 12 years since I've been out here. So, um, you know, you just got to um, diet, you know, make better choice of food that you eat out here on the road because you don't have much to choose from. It's either McDonald's, Taco Bell, KFC. You know, that's the only option you really have out here. So, and Subway, you have Subway. We have that. So, you have to start making better choices of food choices. You have to, because people are dropping like flies. And age, they don't have nothing to do with age, nothing like that. Young people dying, having heart attacks and strokes. And old people are too, so. Normally what I do, I have some weights in my truck that I use. Like one thing, my brake, whatever. A lot of time I, um, you know, work out. Work out and um, maybe do a few laps. If I'm at the super receiver, running through laps or walking through laps or whatever. But I never just sit in my truck and just um, watch TV. And I have a TV in my truck, but I barely use it. I'm either um, driving, taking a shower, or sleep. But it's good to have for company or whatever. A lot of times I have people ride with me in my truck, so. It's good to have for that. But other than that, I barely watch TV. So, yeah, I barely watch TV, so. It's definitely good to have though, but um, I barely use it. I think I might um, buy a PlayStation or a video game for my godson. I have a godson that's nine years old and he ride with me a lot during the summertime. So I think I might buy him a um, video game and hook him my truck, you know, just for something he can have. You know, but other than that, you know, uh, take your time, you know, exercise, eat right. And that's pretty much it. Yeah, exercise, eat right. And um, let's see what else. What else? Yeah, also, if you can, um, get you a bike. Get you a bike. I have a bike at home. And you no, know, when I'm home on the weekends or throughout the week, what I do is ride my bike downtown. Go you know, ride my bike downtown, and I'm exercising. Or what I do is go to the bike trail. You know, that's a lot of bike trails in St. Louis. You know, so I go to the bike trails a lot. I enjoy riding bikes. Um, I enjoy going to the gym. Like where I live at has a gym. So every chance I get, I'm trying to get it in. Trying to get it in. Exercise. It's very important. So, um, I am in the process of uh, buying me a refrigerator for my truck. I'm waiting to. Um, way to order it so I can um, install it in my truck. Once I do that, what I'm gonna do is start making my food at home for like throughout the week, you know, so that way I always have a home cooked meal even though I'm on the road. You know, I have a home cooked meal that way. That keep, from, that keep me from eating all this fast food out here at this truck stop and on the road and stuff. Got my microwave hooked up and everything, got my inverter hooked up. So 
it's pretty much a house on wheels, you know. Can work for like the best truck you can buy. Besides Peterbilt. Get your nice Kenworth. If you drive over the road trucks, get your Kenworth. Good trucks. I had my truck for two and a half years and I love it. It's a good truck. Yep. So Yep, that's pretty much it for this video. But like, subscribe, and um, stay tuned. There's more to come with this channel. Thanks, and talk to you later. Bye.